What is going on guys, it's the Scorpion HD here and today I'm back with another video. I wanted to make a video like this a while ago but uh, never really got around to it. This is uh, covering something that wasn't really publicised as well as I thought it could have been. But uh, yeah, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to record uh, PS4 gameplay. It, well, there's three main methods I guess. And uh, the first one here is the one that I guess I should use but because I bought an HDMI splitter I don't need to and I haven't, you know, really found the need to use this option and take the splitter out of my setup but you can disable uh, HDCP which is what uh, prevented you from recording with a capture card on the PS4 uh, at launch however you know this came out in an update uh, they promised that this would come out uh, to allow people to record and it has um, came out actually quite a while ago so yeah I don't know if people just weren't aware of it or what but some people still think you have to buy a splitter which is not the case anymore Right, so the next method involves a USB pen drive or memory stick, whatever you want to call it. If you have one of a uh, decent sized capacity, I'm sure you'll be able to get a few clips uh, from the capture gallery uh, off onto the pen drive and then you know you can put it on the PC for editing. Uh, just hit that selection there, send to copy it to the USB and that'll be you uh, ready to go with that. Alright guys, so the third and final way of uh, recording gameplay via your PS4 and uploading it to sites such as YouTube is to upload the clip to Facebook by uh, hitting the share button and then you know uploading a video clip. Um, whenever you upload it to Facebook you can then rip it off again uh, with any good uh, MP4 downloader. This is probably the least efficient uh, of the three methods I would say and it was used quite a lot at the beginning of uh, the PS4's life cycle whenever HDCP was a thing and there was no way to you know rip uh, content from this onto your USB because that was an added feature as well um, but I would say the amount of people that are actually going to use this nowadays um, is it's pretty small uh, unless you don't have access to a capture card which is you know not very many people do um, and you also don't have a you know high capacity uh, USB but as you can see there I changed the uh, title you can also watch a preview of the clip like I'm doing here and then whenever you are uh, satisfied with that you can also trim it down um, you can do quite a lot of things and uh, then obviously upload it to the internet and uh, I guess you could maybe rip it off and you know edit it again but the editing software that PS4 gives you it's kinda brief to say the least but it's not bad um, especially the new stuff I haven't tried it out yet but yeah guys hope you've enjoyed the video um, wanted to make a video like this a while back as I've said didn't ever get around to doing it but I felt it was necessary because I don't think enough people are aware of the fact you can turn HDCP off now or even you know how to do it but yeah I hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and yeah cheers yeah.